Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Thomas Wooden Tales, Episode 70, Return of an Old Friend. My Mac, a double-faced engine on the narrow-gauge railway, had recently returned after several years of being in the works. The narrow-gauge engines were glad to see their friend again after several years. Well... Most of them. Ugh, said Smudger. That double engine's back. Why don't you like my Mac? asked Arlowy. Well, said Smudger, they don't seem to really get along, and that leads to constant arguing. Well, I personally like them, said Luke. Well, that's because you're annoying, said Smudger. Annoying engines like other annoying engines. I see my Mac arguing at the incline every day. Well, if you're annoyed by them, said Reneus, why not just talk to them? Well, said Smudger, I guess that's a good idea. The next day at the incline, Smudger was just about to talk to them. Then, Sir Handel arrived. Hey, Smudger, said Sir Handel. How's it going? Pretty good, said Smudger. I'm just about to talk to Mighty Mac about how annoying they are. Annoying, said Mac. What do you mean, annoying? He probably thinks you're annoying, said Mighty. Me? Annoying, said Mac. You're the one that's annoying. Eh, said Smudger. This argument will only last a day. Then everything will be back to normal between the two. Little did Smudger know that the arguments would last much longer than he expected. Throughout the day, Mighty Mac kept arguing. You're annoying, said Mighty. No, you're annoying said Mac. No, you're annoying, said Mighty. Well, you two shut up, said Duncan. No, we will not shut up, said Mac. We need to know who's better, me or Mighty. What do you think, Duncan? Oh, well, said Duncan. I honestly have to go with Mighty. He's a lot more mature than Mac ever was. Aha! Uh -huh said Mighty. So that means you're the annoying one, Mac. No, you're annoying. No, no you're annoying. annoying. Like, why would I'm I clearly not annoying. You're the annoying one, Mac. No, you're annoying. No, you're annoying. No, you're annoying. Like, uh, no, you're annoying. Said Duncan. Okay, Hopefully you're this annoying. arguing go and ask for more than a day. No, you're annoying, like, you're I'm annoying. annoying. You're like, annoying. you're the most My annoying. My Mac had been arguing for annoying. days now, Park, God, come and on. their constant you're arguing annoying. started to annoy their this, passengers. You're definitely... Will you two stop arguing, said a passenger, or else I'll tell your controller. But My Mac didn't hear the complaining passengers. They kept on arguing. The next day... Sir Topham Hat got a bunch of angry letters from the passengers that were on board. What's this? said Sir Topham Hat. Mighty Mac hasn't been getting along. I'm gonna go talk to them. Meanwhile, Mighty Mac was, you guessed it, arguing. No, you're annoying. Okay, Mac, said Mighty, I'm tired of arguing. Can we just make it up? Make up? said Mac. You wanna make up? And just leave the days of arguing we've been doing? Make it up? Make it up? Yeah, said Mighty. Make it up. If you think this is worthy of making up, said Mac, then there must be something wrong with you. Wrong with me? said Mighty. There must be something wrong with you if you spend all your time being annoying. No, you're annoying. Shut up, okay? Said Mighty. Just 
Shut up. Oh, hi, Mighty Mac. Don't talk to me. Mac, said Mighty. How rude. It's okay to be rude right now. It's never okay to be rude, said Mighty. Well, right now it is, said Mac. What are you talking about? asked Mighty. What are you talking about? asked Mac. Stop being rude is what I'm talking about. Stop telling me not to be rude is what I'm talking about, said Mac. You know what? I really want to be separated from you right now, said Mighty. That's never gonna happen, said Mac. Well, said Mighty, if they hit the right parts, then maybe. We've already been at the works for several years, said Mac. Believe me, I do not want to go back there. Well, we will be if we don't watch out where we're going, said Mighty. We haven't been watching where we're going for who knows how long. What? Grr, said Mighty. We're going to crash if we don't watch where we're- Mighty Mac can't realize they were on a very high mountain. There was some ice on the hill from when it snowed that winter. Mighty Mac slipped on the hill and fell. Eventually, they were close to the ground. Jack, Patrick, and Oliver were there, working on the last part of the island that wasn't completely back to normal yet. Watch out, cried Jack. Jack, Patrick, and Oliver moved out of the way as quick as they could as Mighty Mac crashed onto the ground. Don't worry, said Patrick. I'll go get Sir Topham hat. Soon, Patrick came back with Sir Topham Hat. He was very cross. Mighty Mac, said Sir Topham Hat. What happened here? It's gonna take a while to explain, said Mighty. Mighty Mac spent quite a while explaining, and when they were done, Sir Topham Hat was even crosser. Do you two know how dumb that is? said Sir Topham Hat. Yes, sir, said Mighty Mac. And do you two promise never to argue about that again? continued Sir Topham Hat. Yes, sir, said Mighty. Maybe, sir, said Mac. Oh, uh, I mean, yes, sir, said Mac. Now that's more like it, said Sir Topham Hat. Now, you two are going to the works again for at least a few weeks. Aw, oh, man, said Mac. Soon, Mighty Mac was at the steamworks. You two again? asked Victor. What happened these times? Mac, asked Mighty, would you like to explain? Eventually, Mac had explained. Victor laughed. Oh, I'm sorry, said Victor. That's just really funny. No, it's not funny, replied Mac. Mighty thinks I'm annoying. No, said Mighty. It is indeed kind of funny when you think about it now. Especially knowing how- I'm not annoying, said Mac. Okay, okay, said Victor. Let's not get into another argument. We need to begin repairing you. And so, the repairing began. Word about Mighty Mac's accident spread quickly, as most things on the island of Sogor do. And by the time Mighty Mac returned a few weeks later, all the narrow gauge engines were aware of the accident. Well, look who's back, said Luke. Hi, Mighty. Hi, Mac. Don't talk to me right now, said Mac. And for the next month. Oh, Mac, said Luke. Say, said Sir Handel, why are you on a cargo car? We'll have to wait a few days until we can be on the rails again, said Mighty. 
so that way our wheels can fully recover. For a double-faced engine like us two, that's normally the case. Well, said Smudger, I did say this wouldn't take long. Well, said Sir Handel, I guess that's true. However, Smudger continued, it did take a while, but at least it's all over. Wow, said Mighty, thanks a lot, Mac. You are responsible for all of this. What? asked Mac. What do you mean? I would never start such a stupid argument. That sounds like a mighty thing. A mighty thing? asked Mighty. That sounds like a Mac thing. Mighty thing! Mac thing! 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 Hug, said Smudger. Here we go again. <laughs>